Hold on. We just need the one. No. Yeah. 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 And it's this dark. We look like idiots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the camera around. I'm going to get this on with the lightage. There we go. Get the lights on. Get it driving. And then we'll show you what it's actually like. We can't really see the car. Actually. I mean, let me turn this off. So this is a 1 16th scale armor fire team. Well, beg my pardon for saying that. It's not a fire. Why are you not in the camera view, man? What are you doing? Let's do that. It's not even, that's on the lowest yeah, setting. Yeah. Put it on that one. So you can see the car here. So it's a 1 16th scale armor fire team. Um, it's in a nice, nice metallic blue with a camo-ish paint job. So let's get um, let's get going really, because it is uh, way past my bedtime. Let's go. What's it doing? It drives by itself now, so that's brilliant. Look at that. You're even touching the remote. You can see it on camera perfectly fine, isn't it? Yeah. It's way darker outside. It's pretty quick in the morning. For what it is. As you can see, it's still driving by itself. I've only had it out once, in the back garden. In the back garden? Yeah. It's pulling though. It's on the left there, I oh, know. Yeah, it is, yeah. Is it cute? Negative. It's driving by itself. That's full brakes, let off the brakes and it goes. That's right, you keep your hands on the brakes, don't you? But it's clicking, look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. Wait there. Oh, battery time. Battery's dead. Oh, I ain't gonna do that. Evan on the remote now. Maybe on the camera. Oh, watch it, watch it. Can you even get grip on it? <laughs> go on, let me show you how it's done. Go on, give it a go. One more go and then I'll show you how it's done. Give me a bit of a... Better. <laughs> you missed the whole thing. <laughs>
Front here, yeah? Front, front flip. Wait, let me go over there a bit. Let me go over there. <laughs> oh. God. Okay, so we're back now with the the mini 116th armor fire team looking thing. Obviously, we've got the people, they're both missing half their heads. I don't know if you can see that, but they're both missing half their heads. Oh my god. Oh, guide. So if we whip the body off, the battery is not under here. The battery is oh, battery's under there in that little cover. But I think we're gonna have to modify this thing because I'm seeing a few problems. So four pins, body comes up, we've got the lights there, you know. Quickly unplug the lights. That's the body. Body's looking all right, in good shape. Just half the head's missing in here. Um, yeah, the actual car itself is good. The only trouble that I found, yeah, from them backflips with um, so we'll see. This still spins the center drive shaft. That is this one. So, this is, yeah, they're, these are still driving wheels. Um, hang on, actually, if I quickly, if I quickly show you. So, that's all right. But. Look in there. Yeah, that drive shaft's a little bit broken, and yeah, both of these. That one's done. Yeah, both of them are broken. You see it there. Now, um, but yeah, the drive shafts are pretty broken. So that means we're gonna have to upgrade the drive shafts. Um, and then while it's apart, we'll probably do the shocks as well. Um, 
and then this thing will be, you know, drag better, or handle better. Um, and then we could work on getting this thing a little bit more powerful. Um, we need to sort out the battery mounting because yeah, it's literally only for stock battery. I broke the connector as well, which doesn't help. So I had to absolutely bodger it in there. Yeah. So I broke one side off. So I pulled the connector off and just pushed the wire straight into the battery just so I can get a video for you guys. <clears throat> yeah, just so I can get a video for you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, the car held up pretty well and um, nothing else broke. You know, just a few battle scars here and there. I'm gonna sort out the battery mounting system. I'm gonna see if I can get it under here instead. I'm gonna pull all this off and then possibly if I show you this up back. So instead of running these batteries, so this is a 7.4 volt two cell, we can start running this, which is a 11.1 volt three cell. So it's a bit, yeah. Yeah, so obviously as it sits and stands, put the wires back in there. Doesn't really. Doesn't really go in there. So I think we're gonna have to try and mount it under here somewhere. I'm thinking over this side. So I'm gonna pull it apart um, a later date. I'm gonna fix it all off camera. Um, upgrade the shocks, upgrade the drive shaft to metal ones, because they're definitely gonna be a problem. If they're a problem on these, they're definitely gonna be a problem on these. So we're gonna fix it, gonna get it going again. And then we're gonna put more power for it. If this burns out, then we're gonna have to go brushless. Oh no, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go brushless. Um, but yeah, that's how it is. Uh, stock wheels and tires, I think I'm gonna keep them. They look quite nice and it suits with the body on as well. It does look very good and I'm gonna try and keep the lights in one piece. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more content like this with eight scales, um, temp scales, stuff like that. We've got loads of videos planned. Um, so yeah, hopefully get back on the track soon also with the, the BSE and the hot bodies. Just need to get the hot bodies um, set up, which I don't know how to do. So I'm still learning. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.